Wow, that was a journey that we just went on. <laughs> Welcome to Disney A, the Canadian-themed Disney travel podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Brandon. <laughs> and I'm Krista. Happy New Happy Year! Year! Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought... No. No. No, we just lost all our listeners. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Happy New Year! This officially comes out on New Year's Day. It, Yay! It does apparently. It, if I get it edited in time, it does. <laughs> well, that's what you're doing after we finish recording. Exactly. We are recording New Year's Eve. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Happy New Year. Hmm. Um, how you doing, Brandon? Oh, pretty good. Festive season. I guess I'm tired. Yeah, because of all the festive seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not looking forward to going back to work. And no. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you have a good Christmas. That's pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Seems short. Mm -hmm. Every year, hey? Ate too much. Yeah. Yeah. Am now chubbers. <laughs> I, um, I still like you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I don't like me, Aww. but that's okay. <laughs> what is, what <laughs> is a Strange Planet? The New Year's ones where he's like, <laughs> um, well, I've become... I'm going to become, become a better, better being. I'm going to become a better being in, in a couple of days. Until then, I will mildly debase myself. <laughs> to emphasize contrast. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah. Uh, do you have a nerd thing this week, Brandon? Yeah, I mean, uh, we played a lot of board games o over the holidays. Sure that did. was pretty nerdy. Mm -hmm. and, and it's also World Junior mm -hmm. Hockey Time. Mm -hmm. So we were watching that. Watched a game this morning. Um, watch a couple of those games. Mm -hmm. It's always fun. It's a good time of year for that sort of thing. Do you have any stand-up board games? Uh, all of them. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> You're as good at making decisions as I am. They're all fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, my nerd thing is Christmas season. Yay, Christmas season. That was terrible. Yay, holiday season. Yay, we watching lots of movies and playing board games and eating too much food, but yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to do some New Year's organizing while you're at work, cleaning stuff out. Okay, well. I uploaded both, uh, I have two islands both uploaded right now in Animal Crossing, and I'm working on Disney Dreamlight Valley now. That's, that, that's nerdy. There you go. <laughs> You're, you, you ate one too many cookies over the, the holiday season, and you forget. What a nerd is? What a nerd is, I yeah. don't know, festive stuff is Okay. Uh -huh. We watched The Holiday last night, I really liked that movie. Yeah, you convinced me to watch one more Christmas movie because it's, it's kind of like a holiday. Yes, it's like a holiday season, season. Yeah, movie. So that's okay, I guess. Um, that's actually a really good one for in between Christmas and New Year's, I think, because it doesn't like other ones are very Christmassy. Like Elf would feel weird to watch afterwards. It's so Christmassy. I'd still do it, but like, yeah, it, this one ends on New Year's, so it makes sense. And what are we going to watch tonight after it's officially 2024? First thing we do in 2024. Well, I don't know. What are we doing? We're going to watch When Harry Met Sally. Oh. Uh, because we always do. It, almost always. Almost always. Every time we're around, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Ball drops. Pop the champagne. Watch When Harry Met Sally. Yeah. Um, Brandon, what are you drinking? Uh, beer. Uh, beer. What kind? It's called Der Krankenwagen. Mm-hmm. From our local brewery. Means the ambulance in German. Yes. It's <laughs> concerning. <laughs> Does it actually? Yeah. Oh. That's what they call it. That's what they call an ambulance in German. Yeah. In German. Which someone needed to call the Germ German team an ambulance today oh. at the World Juniors. Oh. oh. <laughs> I felt bad for them. They're just kids. Yeah, they are. You just know they see they're playing Team Canada and they're like, ugh. <laughs> yeah that's about yeah it was closer than it probably should have been but yeah they know they play, well. they played well they actually played well in this tournament mm -hmm. but they uh they kind of screwed up their game against the the other weaker team in the division and right and, and now it affected are, everything and now they're uh going to be facing relegation so yeah. um i'm drinking a raspberry lemon blonde beer from rail yard brewing 
That's in Calgary. Yeah. I think. So one of these. I assume. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of breweries in, in the big city of Calgary. As you found out, because yeah. mm -hmm. you had a beer advent calendar. Mm -hmm. And like half of them were from Calgary. <laughs> yeah. And they, there was only a couple repeats of breweries, so yeah. I don't know. There was, there, there must be like 20, 20 microbreweries in, right. in Calgary, at least. Um... Uh, we also have a Marvel show. We haven't finished watching it. It's actually what we're going to talk about next week, theoretically. What If is out now. We've watched the first few episodes. Brandon, spoiler-free gut reaction to the beginning of it. What do you think? I like What If. Uh, me too. I, I do a lot, actually. Okay, we've watched three episodes, right? Yeah, it's like a third of it. I think there's only eight, so nah. just over a third. Nice. Nice. Um, and do you have a better know a listener this week? I do. Alrighty. Um, yeah. Okay. We're going to go to Scotland. Are we actually? Yeah. We have a listener in Scotland? Uh, or more than one. I don't know. There oh. was, they, they either watch, they either listen to like half of our episodes in one <laughs> month. It's like, maybe they were bored leading up to Christmas. Maybe. And I don't know. Um, but wow. yeah, someone in the Scottish town of Kirkcaldy. That sounds Scottish, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that tracks. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, a, it's a Scottish town on the waterfront, as, mm -hmm. as most towns are. Yep. Uh, and it was founded for, like, salt and coal mining way, way back in the day. Okay. Um, but then uh, transitioned into making linoleum. So they're very oh. well, well known for making linoleum. Interesting. Yeah, kind of kind of random. That is kind of random. Um, the, is it's a big place? It, it's, it, no, it's only got like a population of like 41,000. That's pretty, okay. pretty small for City. the UK, mm -hmm. yeah. I would imagine. Um, and it, it's also nicknamed is... Langtun, which is, uh, Lang which is lo long town in, in oh, Scottish. That makes sense. Sc yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, it had a, a mile long main street back in like, oh, that's the cool. 16th century. That's like, super cool. Yeah. That's a pretty long that's town. That's very long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, uh, not the most original of names, but uh, very descriptive. That's true. You'd know exactly where you were going <laughs> in the area. So, where are you going? Ah, you know, the long town. Oh. Langtown, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Langtun. Langtun. I don't know. My, my Scottish accent is terrible. It I, is. I, you I are bring, a discredit and... I bring shame to my ancestors, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it's also known as the birthplace of social philosopher and economist Adam Smith. Oh. Who wrote The Wealth of Nations. Yes, I know who Adam Smith yeah. is. Uh, yes, interesting. So there I you go. Know. I actually didn't know he was Scottish. Yeah, well, he is. He was British. He is. Interesting. So, oh, cool. There you go. Nice. Well, if you're from, how do you say it? Theoretically. Uh, Kirkcaldy. Kirkcaldy. Which you would not guess from the spelling of it. It's spelt Kirkcaldy. Kirkcaldy. Um, hi, and thank you for listening. And tell us if we're pronouncing your name wrong. <laughs> well, this Kirkcaldy is what the uh, pronunciation guide on, on Wikipedia says. Okay. So, I mean... Not that necessarily could, correct, yeah, I say, but... That could still be wrong, but you, we did look it up. Well, yeah, we tried, and by, we, I mean you. tried our best. Nice. Um, yeah, Scotland. I like Scotland. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I would like to go there. Me they have, too. They have delicious whiskey. And haggis. And haggis. Oh, I love, I don't, I love haggis. I, like, unironically love haggis. It's delicious. <laughs> I don't like scotch. I don't like haggis, but it's not, like, because it's haggis. It's, it's very oniony, onion and I don't like onions. Oh, I love... Mm, um, yum, 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 yum. But I'm a fan of any country that's one of its most famous people is a poet. And, hey, how timely. He wrote the New Year's song. Correct. Yes, Robbie Burns. Mm. And your birthday is Robbie Burns Day in January. Tis. What up, too? Tis indeed. Tis indeed. Um, anything to add before... This is cool. I can't believe we have listeners in Scotland. <laughs> anything before we go to the news? Uh, no. Disney A News Update. Okay, Brandon, news. Man, stuff is happening at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Lots of construction going on, which is good, because, you know, it's supposed to open this coming year. <laughs> so, that's at so, good. At some point. Um, 
Okay, do you want to, speaking of Disneyland news, do you want bad news first or not as bad a news first? Sure. Okay. So there was a shooting hoax at Disneyland Hotel just before oh, yeah. Christmas. You did tell me that, yeah. Yeah, they, December 22nd. They had to go into like a mini lockdown. Yep. And, and Parts of the Disneyland Hotel were fully evacuated as police responded to reports of a shooting, but it was a hoax. And you guys suck, basically. That's, that's not funny. Like, don't do that. Okay. And uh, the- you wonder if it was, like, a malicious hoax or if it was, like, someone True. heard something and phoned it in. Mm-hmm. And, and this is it, a good point. Like. I hope that's the case. Yeah. Like, I hope someone's, like, doing due diligence and, like, better safe than sorry. You know, that whole thing. Well, yeah. Because um, then, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So, I, I hope that's the case. Um... There's a lot of merch out. Some of it's 2024 merch. Actually, I like the line. It's uh, really bright. Continue with the really bright colors. There's also Wish merch and, like, some cozy stuff. But, um, and there's also merch appearing for some of the events that are going to be starting off in 2024. I'll talk about some of those events um, in the main topic. But, like, Run Disney is coming back for the first time since, like, I don't know, I think it's, like, 2016, 2017 or something. Is that where Mickey Mouse chases you? Yes, And you have to run for your life? It's true, yeah. Believe it or not, straight to jail. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, and then this one, I don't know if it's confirmed or if it's, like, strong rumor, but apparently, temporarily, well, um, so... I don't think we reported last time. Haunted Mansion is going to be down for most of 2024. It's going to stay open longer than usual in January as um, the Haunted, holiday. The Haunted Mansion the holiday. Haunted Mansion holiday. And then it's going to close, and then it's just going to open again end of August as Haunted Mansion holiday. Um, or, or something like that. Something like that. They that. don't know exactly what, but... It is staying open longer than it normally is, and and the the rumor slash theory is that it is n- never going to transition back this year. Th- this year into the regular haunted yeah. mansion. It, next year, when it's open all year, it'll they'll do the same thing. But right. because because it's going to be closed for so long, and because Halloween's starting a, a week earlier again. Crazy. Uh, this year, they, there's no point in, I can in totally doing a transition. That. It takes two weeks to yeah. do it each way, so why why lose it for another whole month? Yeah, to have it up for maybe a couple weeks as a rate. No, it I doesn't, totally it doesn't get make that. Any sense. Yeah, when it sounded like it was just going to be down for like a short period of time, I was like, "What? That's crazy!" But yeah, when you start going two weeks on one side, two weeks on the other side, and then open what third week in August or something like that, like I, you get it. I, I get it. Um. And so anyway, Tiana's Bayou, Splash Mountain's becoming Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Haunted Mansion is going to be down for most of 2024 as well. And that's side by side. Strong rumor is during that time, Pirates of the Caribbean will be added to Genie Plus. Okay. It does... This is one of the ones where, like, people are going to complain because it doesn't need it. Uh, it doesn't need it. Pirates loads people really, really fast. That standby queue is very doable, even on the most busiest of it's days. True. Uh, it's but notorious on, for being the best load. On the other hand, it, at least it's built for it. True. You have you have a distinct left and right path. Yep. And it, I don't know. I, I don't think it'll be that disruptive, but it's also kind of silly. I just really hope that they really, like, are... I, I, I can see them doing it because they want to keep selling Genie Plus, and you have two attractions that you Genie Plus that are down for a substantial amount of time. Yeah. So I can then be like, hey, get your money's worth. Let's put pirates on there. Like I get that, but I really hope it's just temporary. I guess because it loads it so fast, it doesn't need it. And I'm not anti Genie Plus. They're it not. Is... They're not temporarily adding it. Genie right. Plus. There's not. <laughs> no. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, it says temporarily. That's just what I'm going with here. No. No. Nope. Okay. Um, and that's all the news for me. Most of the other stuff is stuff coming up right in 2024 here. Yeah, I mean, the the, the big news is that uh, the Mark Twain is not on the the refurb calendar uh, anymore. Like That's true. Thanks it's for clo- sure about that. It's closed now, but mm-hmm. the, the, the farther along in the calendar you go, it actually comes off closure. So mm-hmm. that means it's coming back shortly and, yeah and that's good that's one thing that's been closed for a while that's uh, true what what would you guess um february yeah probably like, Febu- that. like early february like yeah. as other stuff starts to go down um astro down i mean typically 
into the middle of January through February is your years of is your time for like renovations and stuff like that. Anyway, um, Inside Out is on the list, but you know, the, since COVID came back, they just couldn't kind of like fixing it as they need to. So, yeah. So it would be nice to have Mark Twain open during that time when so many other things are closed. Especially in that area. Oh yeah. You have two, <laughs> two major rides side by side down for most of a year. A good chunk of a year. Yeah. That's that is terrible. Yep. That is terrible. Yeah, and and I think it's a testament to the fact that they did not intend to close Haunted Mansion at this point in time. No. Yeah. This is a we push it as long as you can. Like now we need to, and it sounds like it's um like to bring it up to code with accessibility yeah things and so they they finally push it until they couldn't push it anymore and then then they're then they have to um okay you ready to head to the main topic sure it's holiday time okay so we're just kind of kind of talk about 2023 look forward in 2024 um maybe do some like highs and lows like that kind of stuff sound good sounds excellent what is something like personally that you really liked about 2023 like to do with disney or whatever or <laughs> pop culture how about oh i don't know or travel i don't or... remember what i had for breakfast eh? we traveled a lot we did travel a fair bit yeah mm-hmm. that was fun mm-hmm um, I do like traveling again. That was, that is what I missed, um, from the, the pandemic times, not being able to travel. So right. this was a full year of unfettered travel. <laughs> we made up for it. <laughs> we did, we did a lot of, we did a lot of miles on planes. Mm-hmm. Um, which is awesome. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Um, I'd say the traveling for me too. We brought in 2023, in Disneyland, that was that was really awesome. Even though it was pouring rain on us, it was really awesome. Like more rain than I've seen in a long time, and <laughs> when you're in Southern California, that's not really what you expect. But uh, anyway, had a great time. We did Mexico a couple times, different sides. Jamaica, we went to Whistler. We did, yeah, we did a lot of traveling, which is great. I like that. That's my favorite stuff too. Um, any, what was your favorite show? It doesn't have to be Disney. Favorite thing we watched, like, on TV, 2023. And you can, like, think about it while I pull up. <laughs> well, I, I don't, I don't remember what came out in 2023 House versus of the 20, Dragon. 2022. Was Andor in, yep. in 2023? Yep. That, that's, that's it. House of the Dragon was good, too. But, yeah, Andor was a, an extremely pleasant surprise Mm -hmm. because i was not very excited for it and it's now one of my favorite star wars things yeah so there you go i like it well i'm gonna be asking you about specific um specific disney type things too so that works really well um video games we movie for as far as disney goes we had wish which we didn't see we had elemental well disney and pixar which we we didn't didn't see. see We had um, no Star Wars feature films. Indiana Jones, which we had didn't Indiana see. Jones, which we didn't see. I was getting to Lucasfilm here in a minute. Uh, no full Star Wars, but we did, like I said, the shows. So I'll talk about that in a minute. We did get some Marvel. We got Ant Man, Quantumania. We got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, and then we got we got Haunted Mansion, which we did see, but on Disney Plus later. Um. And the the Marvels. Is oh, it. the Marvels was the other one. You were on a you were on a, a, a Marvel, Marvel trip track, trip. and then you got cut distracted. I did. I and did. You're I like, did. I don't know what's going on. Ah! We didn't see the Marvels. We have not seen the Mar. I'm. I guess we just have to wait for streaming now. Mm. It it wasn't from like not wanting to see it. It just yeah. came out at a rough time. Yeah, we were like traveling, so. <laughs> okay. And, and we don't have a theater nearby us, so it's a, mm-hmm. uh, it's tough. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So what was of the theatrically released films that Disney did out of all of those what was your favorite do you think I mean Guardians obviously right okay <laughs> that's the correct we only, answer we only watched two of them well we watched Haunted Mansion I guess but not in theaters no but still <laughs> it's it, theatrically released I said yeah uh, 
Um, yeah, not not a, not a great year for for Disney no. owned films and things uh, in general. Um, Guardians was like a B plus for me. I I, I liked it better than Guardians two probably, a little bit. Um, it I wasn't liked it, it yeah. wasn't per- it wasn't perfect. There was some weird spots in it, uh, but it was really fun. Yeah, Ant Ant Man and the Wasp two or whatever they called it mm-hmm. uh, was fine as well. Like yeah. I didn't hate I it. didn't hate it as much as some people did. No, no, I just didn't hate it at all. It was just it was fine. Like Guardians was much better. Um, yeah, the other movies were like direct to streaming, like the Naughty Nine, which you watch, which you did a blind date with disney for but not not a not a terrible uh film yeah. a, after all and then some shows so you already mentioned Andor. there was also bad batch season two we don't watch that so i'm not con- um considering that part of that but let's go Andor, mandalorian season three and ahsoka were our star wars shows what was your favorite of those because um, we had this we had some good stuff i thought uh, yeah i like they were all f- good um mm-hmm. i i didn't dislike uh, mando season three as much as a lot of p- right. people seemed to mm-hmm. um i i didn't like it as much as the first season right or even the se- it's it probably the worst season but yeah, it but wasn't I still liked it, it was still good mm-hmm. like whatever but no andor was like fantastic and, and ahsoka was very solid nice. as well yeah um, that's the order. I loved Ahsoka, and I'm, like, becoming a massive Ahsoka fan. I still like Andor better, but, like, if I have to choose kind of situation, Andor is, like, just next level for me. Yeah. Um, okay, so Marvel... Oh, other TV shows on Disney+, Plus, which we kind of watch a little bit of or watch a lot of. Um, Behind the Attraction has a new season. We, um... I've seen a, seen couple, a couple of those. couple episodes of yeah, that. Yeah, we haven't I... finished it or anything. That's a good one, just to turn on exactly. when you have an hour, and they're they're not... I mean, they're obviously not narrative focused or anything, so you right. can watch one right, exactly. anytime you want. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a good, good documentary series if exactly. you like D- Disney parks, I guess. So. Well, and, and because they're not connected, you, like you said, you just watch one. Like it doesn't need to be any kind of pressure to watch that or anything. Um, we also had oh, Goosebumps was on Disney Plus. Shockingly good. Didn't. <laughs> didn't end up finishing that i don't know it's like halloweenish <laughs> yeah that was the trouble i i started it again thinking it wasn't uh interconnected i thought they were standalone episodes like the old mm-hmm. old goosebumps used to mm-hmm. be turned out it was a whole um running mini soap opera <laughs> thing interconnected by uh goosebump various goosebumps right. stories it was it was really good it yeah it was really good uh, it just I was shocked at that. We intended to watch. We a started episodes, watching. We started yeah. watching it. I was like, "Oh, there's only six episodes or whatever," but it hadn't finished airing yet. Mm-hmm. Even like it finished airing after Halloween, which was a choice. Yeah, uh, agreed. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, I do like it, and yeah. I'll, I'll see if they make more. Yeah, I guess sure. I don't know. A show that came out on Disney Plus that I really, really, really want to watch. We haven't yet, but I still really, really want to watch it. Is the Muppets Mayhem? Hmm. So I want to watch that, <laughs> like, badly. Other ones, um, like Little Mermaid live action came out. We still haven't seen it. Um, and like I said, Indiana Jones, we haven't seen. Okay, other Disney Plus one, Marvel shows. We had Secret Invasion. Uh. Yeah, sorry to bring that up again. We had um, What If, which we're still watching now. Well, technically, I guess I'm Groot is also... <laughs> Marvel, we had a new season of I Am Groot, and then we had Loki season two. Hey, Brandon, what was your favorite of those? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I haven't finished What If yet, yeah, but technically. I mean, that's not a fair category for it's What really If to not, be in. No, Come on. I, I don't know. It's doing some heavy lifting, let me tell that you. That is true. It but, is super fun. Um, it still has an uphill climb to to get to yeah. the importance of Loki. Of anyway, course. Loki was really Loki was really good. Really good. Andor or Loki? Which show did you like and, better? Andor by oh, quite a, quite really? a bit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I did too, but I mean, that's not a secret. By quite a bit. like. Okay, so here's a question now. Andor, I know I'm jumping all over. I was thinking Disney you Plus You are shows. scatterbrained as heck. And, uh, well, this was your favorite the, um, of this year, Andor, yes? Yeah. What is your favorite Disney Plus show since Disney Plus came out? 
MCU or Star Wars or anything? Well, it's it's tough because like you, the first season of Mando was so out of left field yeah. and like was the flagship for the entire streaming service and was the reason that you had Disney Plus other than like wanting to watch 20-year-old movies that were <laughs> in the in vault, the vault. <laughs> quote unquote. Yeah, anyway. Um so, I mean, it's tough to compare, but, like, objectively, Andor's the best thing that they have put on Disney+. Plus. Like, it, it is a Star Wars, and it feels Star Warsy, but it's just good. Like, you could take the Star Wars part out of it, and it would still be a good story. Man, the acting in that. No. I'm not just saying that because I adore him, but, like, everyone. Well, yeah, yeah, though, there was, like, extremely good mm-hmm. acting, and it, I don't know, it, it, you could have made it, like, just a world war Two spy movie with the same kind of plot and it would have yeah it would still be good right like okay. that's what i that's what i mean yeah, it's just no, I get what you're objectively the best one but um wandavision is still my favorite and that would be that that is also objectively very good because it plays to its the strengths mm-hmm. of the format and a, mm-hmm. a lot of the other ones have been fighting against the right. format yeah uh so yeah there you go. I understand completely. Um, so if that was... What was, do you think, the biggest disappointment from Disney from 2023? Oh, I think just their entire catalog, like... Feels like a big wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, like... I would say probably Wish is the... Like, there, there was supposed to be this big celebration of the 100 years and disney animation and that's what put disney on the map and it it wasn't even heralded as a bomb because like no one knew what it was even what like yeah it wasn't big enough to be a bomb it was like a just a A whisper sad Mm -hmm. trombone squeak like which is crazy because apparently it has lots of easter eggs and people who like watched it and they're like yeah it was really boring but i want to watch it again for, to figure out where all the Easter eggs are. Oh boy, you're selling it. It was real boring, but you know, Man. there's a couple Easter eggs in there that if That's you watch real closely. I mean, I haven't seen it. I probably, I'll probably enjoy Ugh. it fine. But yeah, it was supposed to be a big celebration. Like they started touting this years ago. Yeah. And then it, they kind of like forgot about it or something. Well, um, I mean, COVID did yeah. screw up a and lot I mean, of things. The fact but... that I wasn't like in line to go see it should say something. Yeah. No. That that is really really bad. Um, Worst Disney and th- Plus thing. And then, Secret Invasion yeah. was like horrifically disappointing. Yeah. Like, not even fun. Bad. No. It just. Yeah. S- s- kind of pathetic. Really. Yeah. A waste first... of everyone who was involved and yeah. k- killing off characters that deserved uh... a little better. Like, yeah, okay, you got to have stakes and stuff. I don't mind killing off characters, but like. Do it with good writing. Have it with, yeah, good writing. Have a point. I uh, Just, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, oh, that I'm one so, was. I'm a, getting angry sorry. again. That one was a big disappointment. And I remember the first couple episodes we were like, oh, man, this is going to be like cool, cool tone, Nick Fury. Yeah. And then we're like, what? Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, But we ended with Loki and now we're in What If? And this is all very good. So no more angry <laughs> for Secret Invasion. <laughs> Well, we'll see. All right. We'll see. They're they're scaling way back. Mm-hmm. Oh, am I jumping? I'm no, jumping no. Forward. You go ahead. You go ahead. Actually, I'm I'm transitioning now to next year. Okay. So, so there, along those lines, because of all the you disappointments, saw me pick up my phone. <laughs> they, they 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 all these disappointments. They've had bomb after bomb in theaters. The mm-hmm. only thing that's made money was probably Guardians. Yep. Uh, just disasters like. I guess the Marvels might break even, maybe, probably not. And the thing is, anyone I know who's seen it, who's, like, not just... <laughs> rah, 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 yeah. women, women superheroes. Exactly. Rah, 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 rah. Anyone I know who's actually seen it or heard of even is, like, it was good. It was, like, it wasn't amazing, but it, it was, was like... Fun. It was so Like, it's it was a, a solid superhero movie. But very few people saw it was the problem. Well, yeah, because the trailers made it look really boring. <laughs> And you're like, I remember you saying, like, I was looking forward to this, and, like, this sounds really cool. 
I don't know what the story is. I don't know what the stakes are. I don't know what's going on. And, they needed yeah. to call Amanda Woods. I guess so. <laughs> to cut the trailer. <laughs> Apparently, this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> nice holiday reference. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, they, yeah, they've had all these disappointments, and mm-hmm. uh, we got uh, good old Bobby Iger in charge now, mm-hmm. so he's... He's like, no, we need to scale back and focus on quality over quantity. Yep. Uh, which, good on paper. Yep. I mean, he came in when Disney was at its lowest low mm-hmm. for movies. Last time. Last time, and and built it all back up from from the bottom of the barrel. Like, Home on the Range was when he yeah. he was totally. coming on board, and and you know my feelings on that <laughs> stupid cow movie. Um. <laughs> so, he knows something what he's talking about. Now it's easier said. Yeah, but than, then it's easier said than done. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of stuff on the go. Of course, but he went. He took them from that, and then it wasn't that much longer until we got tangled, and then even into Frozen, and no, that that took a. He his big fix for for things was buying buying Pixar. Yeah, and buying. Buying studios, buying Marvel, mm-hmm, which he did, um, and that's how they kind of restarted. So now he just needs to, and then building off of Pixar is how you got decent Disney animation yes, studio that's movies true. again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so, so I don't know, but anyway, there, sorry, it's take I, I time. keep cutting you off. No, I don't okay. mean to. No, it's okay. It's going to take time. It is going to take time. It's not but like a magic fix. It, they're kind. It seems like they're treating just from the release schedule of stuff. They're treating 2024 as kind of like a reset button. That's okay. Um, which is fine. Uh, I will be. There's only one Marvel movie on I the know. entire schedule, I know. which is wild. That's crazy. That hasn't happened since 2010 or like something like that. Literally over a decade. <sighs> yeah. Uh huh. <coughs> Uh, but, but it is a big one. So. It's a big one, and it's one that whether you're a Marvel fan or not, you're gonna go see this movie. It's gonna. It should be big. Which It'll probably make as much money as the three did this year. Pro- probably. Um. Uh. And like, there's been just people. People are applauding the death of the superhero genre. Like, as people do things get too popular, yeah. so then they rail against of it, course. right? But. Uh, Marvel slash Disney has been having some misfires, and then you got whatever that mess is over at, at oh. DC, <laughs> Warner oh Brothers. God. Uh, man, the the uh, you, you think the 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 Marvel movies are bad, but you look at the trailers for Aquaman and the the box office numbers for Aquaman, and you go, oh well, <laughs> can always be worse, I suppose. Wow, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I I need like a mystery science theater three thousand version of that movie oh or something. It looks God. so that would be, bad. That would be fun actually. Maybe <laughs> you could find riff tracks or something. <laughs> yeah, they. I don't know if they still do riff tracks or not. But anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's bad, and that's getting a full reset as well because of course they brought on of course James Gunn to restructure Which their whole thing. Will make me excited to see a DC movie again for the first time ever. But probably. it's still c- incredibly muddled because they'd have they started having these one-off things that were successful so they can't really say no to them, right? You had the Joker, which was that's a one-off true. thing. That, that has true. a sequel that's bi- uh, filmed mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. I believe. That's going to be a musical with Lady Gaga. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, no, it, it's a musical with Lady okay, Gaga. Okay, and see, automatically, I'm like, I want to see this it now, seems inter- it sounds so insane. It seems interesting and insane and whatever. Yeah, she's playing Harley Quinn. Ah, and, and it's music, interesting. Mu- musical. Anyway. Is this a 2024 weird. situation? I think so. Okay. It has to be. They, they, they filmed if they it. they filmed it. I don't know. Anyway, weird uh, offshoot mm-hmm. muddling things. And then you had that The Batman movie that was not connected to anything. Right. That was mildly successful. Right. That should have been an hour shorter. Agree. <laughs> um, not horrible, but should have definitely yeah. been an hour shorter. See, that was fine for me. Yeah. Like, I was... I had very Some people, like, love it. Yeah, you know, some people I, love Batman just for being Batman, nah, so... Um, really terribly edited movie. That's like, true. just way yeah. too long. Yeah, I hope Gunfire... And I, li- I, I can sit through a four-hour movie. It's mm-hmm. good, but it... Like, the plot did not mm-hmm. necessitate three hours. Agreed. 
It Agreed. didn't. It didn't. Anyway, I, I'm off on a big tangent. Anyway, right. so they're they're all muddled. There's a sequel for The Batman coming out. Right. And, then, and then they're going to have this whole other universe. I don't know. Superhero movies are in a weird spot right now. Yeah. But Deadpool's going to save us all, so there De- you go. Deadpool basically is going to save us all. You know what? Ryan Reynolds is going to save us all. Yay, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, yes. That's... Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But, um, yes, Deadpool. We have a lot of shows coming out, though. Um, but, like, the schedule has been worked. Do we have a lot of reworked. shows coming out, though? I don't even know. We have... Well, the, the schedule's been they're, worked. They're dumping reversed. Echo here very shortly. Very shortly. I think that's the first of 2024. Um, Agatha, yeah. po- Halloween time, co- question mark, maybe. God, I hope that's good. I am so freaking <laughs> excited for that. Also, Catherine Hahn was in The Holiday. For like two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't care. Love her every time I see Along her. Along with Reed Richards. Yes, it's true. <laughs> he, he was in The Holiday yeah. slightly longer than he was Reed Richards far, though. Barely. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he was just playing Jim. Yeah, I think from he was the just... Office. I, was, I even was like, it's Jim. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. 2024 Disney+. Plus. I had the parks ready to stuff ready to go, so let's look at the. Um, let, but since we're talking about it, let's look at this here first. Okay. Um. Okay. So I'm only going to talk about the ones that like we're most interested in, basically. So we've got Echo, like you said, that is coming January 10th. Yeah, like right away. Is, yes. Yeah. We have. So this is interesting. Um, Aquafina is narrating. A National Geographic documentary called A Real Bug's Life. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, X-Men 97. Oh, yeah. That... Okay. So that one's coming out. I don't know this. I would you? I would you? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe it was a thing. It's not a thing. Um, another show called Tiana. Inside Out 2 is coming to theaters in June 2024. That's going to make money. Yeah, well, that just shows their desperation. Pixar never made a sequel. They, they, they put their brakes on making a sequel. Like They had to pull teeth to make Toy Story 2, and then Car, Cars 2 was like, well, I guess we'll just make money on toys. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever. But they, they're very hesitant to make sequels, well, except toys, for Toy Story. Yes, because everyone is and, like, obsessed. And Cars. Yeah, well... <laughs> Toy Story, the trilogy. Well worth the while. Yeah, Absolute. all all three Toy all Story three movies are Toy worth Story while. Toy Story movies was a perfect trilogy. And, and, and it's a good thing they never made right? any more That'd than that. Well, you know, the shorts that they did. The shorts are good, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the shorts are fine. Um, we have, like you said, Deadpool 3. That's theaters in the summer. We have Agatha, whatever it's currently called, is still for the fall. Spider-Man freshman year. Um, apparently there's a show for Moana, Marvel Zombies, uh, Star Wars Acolyte, um, but um, um, that Win Lose cartoon we saw a uh, trailer for on like Disney 100, Muf- right. Mufasa the Lion King. We have, there's a Mufasa movie or a show or something. I don't even know if I've heard of that. I haven't. But anyway, that's all we've got. Wow. Um. That's that's not a lot. I thought Andor. Season two is coming out. No, I think that's been delayed. Hmm. Hopefully, yeah. The Acolyte, though. We've we got Acolyte this year. But that tells us one Star Wars, one Marvel movie, couple Marvel shows. That's it. May- maybe a couple Marvel. I I mean, they, they've clearly filmed a bunch for Agatha, and the release period makes sense, so hopefully they... Mm-hmm. They have a handle on that now, and we'll see how it goes, but... So I have here... Wow. The 17 most anticipated new shows of 2024 on any streaming service, not necessarily Disney. Echo is on the list. 24th? <laughs> uh, well, it's a set top 17, and it's number 17. Oh, okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, True Detective, Season 4, Masters of the Air, which is on Apple... Mr. and Mrs. Smith is having a TV show, apparently. Oh, That's on hear, Prime Video. I did hear about that, yeah. Avatar The Last Airbender, Netflix. Oh, yes. They're, ma- they're making a, li- <laughs> a live-action Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh. That, that goes very well. 
Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> it's coming off. It's they, 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 Netflix did a live action anime thing last year that was very successful. Mm. So, so kind of leaning into that. They they have a kind of a pipeline for that. I don't know. And I'm a terrible nerd because I don't I don't yeah. get anime. You have I, to turn in your nerd. I chart. don't get it. I don't like it. And I, <laughs> and I uh, nah. yeah. uh, Tokyo Vice season two. I don't even know what that is. The Regime is an HBO show that's coming out. Oh, Kate Winslet. Mm, okay. Mm. I was just talking about how much I like her. Fallout. I did see a trailer for that. It's based on a video game. It is. Um, that's coming to Prime, in case. The trailer looked okay. I, I don't... I don't know. It, the I don't know that the video game is going to translate to a show, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Bridgerton season three is coming to Netflix. Does the is the Duke back yet? I'm not watching it if the Duke's not. In it. <laughs> so I read the first few books, and this is now out of order. So this one actually, I think, is supposed to be the it's season three, but they're using like the fourth book or something to follow the storyline because each of the books looks at, takes care of one of the siblings. Is the idea starting with the oldest? So actually, season two was no, I think I did that wrong. Anyway, it does it doesn't matter, but. Each of each of them is a sibling, and they're doing them out of order. Is essentially terrible, right. and there's no Duke in the second uh, season. So why well, well, bother? Shogun is coming to FX. I yeah. guess. Moving on. Um, House of the Dragon season two. There HBO. you go. There you yeah, go. we're very much looking forward to that. <clears throat> X Men ninety seven Disney Plus is one of the most anticipated. Yellowstone season five part two. Never got into any of the Yellowstone nope, that's stuff. Acolyte. Disney Plus, people are very excited for. Oh, we do have Skeleton Crew is apparently coming. That wasn't on my list. It wasn't on the list. Who knows if it's coming? Well, maybe that's yeah. why. Um, that's with Jude Law from the Holiday. Yes, Agatha oh. Darkhold Diaries, or whatever. It's slash Coven of called. Chaos. Slash, slash mm-hmm. House of Harkness. Slash. I, I hope they just keep changing the title I hope like, so. every couple of months yeah. and like. Leading up to it, it just like all and the then time, like, like every like, episode has a different name. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, so that's you know a few. So a few of them are Disney, is my point, but they don't have the stranglehold. The Stranger Things isn't on that list. The Stranger Things not coming I'm out not next sure. year. Man, they they are the last season of Stranger Things is going to be really weird because they're going to have to have like fully CGI cast because mm-hmm. they're going to be eighty seven by the time they finish that thing. Principal photography is beginning in January. Oh. Rough. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically an entire what about year s- behind. Squid Games, is that not on the list? Well, it wasn't on this list, but that, that was just like one thing, right? Hold on. Surely that must be anticipated and coming out next year. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Squid Game Season 2 is on the list for 2024. Yeah, I, 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 I would say that's probably more anticipated than Echo. I mean, probably, but not by the, the this site that I found. <laughs> okay. okay, let's talk parks. Disneyland, specifically. So I talked about some of this before. Um, Pixar Fest is returning to Disneyland Resort from April 26th to August 4th. The festival will include the new daytime parade, Better Together, a Pixar Pal Celebration at DCA, and Together Forever, a Pixar Nighttime Spectacular at Disneyland Park. <clears throat> yeah, this is all part, um, to introduce it, this is all part of the first time that they've ever announced the entire annual mm-hmm. calendar with all the special events that are happening throughout mm-hmm. the year. Uh, they've never done that before. No. It's all, They've always kind of like announced it by quarters or something yeah. basically and like so this seasons. is kind of weird and uh, but now we have some more detail now that it is like 2024 coming um but yeah yes, so it's interesting. tomorrow <laughs> yes right um but so it's interesting so I'm, I'm curious to see if they're anticipating higher sales with that or like from a business standpoint why <clears throat> I will say it is PR in vogue to have roadmaps. Mm-hmm. Always roadmaps. You've probably seen this with even your little cozy games. Your it's true. Animal Crossings and your Disney Dreamlight Valley. Nice Animal Crossing had a roadmap. Well, they, <laughs> that ran out of road a long time ago. Uh, anyway. But yes, Disney Dreamlight Valley has a roadmap into 2025. They release roadmaps. Uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's marketing gold because mm-hmm. you have... 
you have set things to like tease. Mm -hmm. As long as you can hit your deadlines, in the case of game development especially, right. uh, it works pretty well. So I, I guess that's just what I they're so, just going along instead. with. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, in early January, Disneyland Resort will host the Disneyland Half Marathon Weekend. It is the first run Disney event. Oh, 2017. Okay. And registration sold out within 90 minutes. <laughs> a Halloween Half Marathon Weekend will take place September 5th through 8th. And registration for that for club run Disney members begins February 6th. General registration opens February 13th. So here's a, here's the thing that mm -hmm. I found out um, just looking at the Disneyland website. Speaking of active things kind of tying into the run. Uh, slightly less active than running a half marathon. <laughs> but if you stay at the Disneyland Resort Hotel, you can sign up to do like uh, wake up yoga in the Disneyland park. Are you serious? Yeah, you have to. St I think you have to stay at the resort hotel though. I really, really, really would love but to. But like, do that. I, I think they showed a picture of people like doing yoga um, on the big open area by Space Mountain oh or something. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! But, and like rise and shine yoga, like before the park opens. That's amazing. It would be. It would be pretty cool. I'm sure it, it's expensive, and plus you also have to stay at the hotel to do it. I'm pretty sure is what the website. That said. sounds amazing. But that's pretty cool. That's so cool. Uh, okay, new Disney bucket list item. Well, I saw that and I was like, uh, I almost wanted to book it for your trip, but then I was like, oh, I think you need to stay there, and because right. and there was no prices or anything, uh, so okay. I'm like, oh. that must be new. Yeah, no, if it you, said it was new. Anyone who's listening has any experience with that? It's 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 like brand new. Oh, yeah. like maybe for 2024. Uh, they they might have started it in December. That's I don't know. so cool. That is know. so so cool. You can you can do you can also sign up for yoga class like morning yoga classes in the like Disneyland Hotel Rose Garden and I think just anybody can do that. That would also be cool. But yeah, not but in, in the, the park. Is early like... early park access and. And here I am doing yoga in front of Space Mountain. Mm. Man, that'd be awesome. Okay, that is a new Disney bucket item bucket list item for me. Um. So in Disneyland proper. So they talked about the Disneyland After Dark events that they had a few, and we were kind of hypothesizing as to what. We know there's going to be a Star Wars night. We know there's going to be Oogie Boogies. And there was two questions. One is Sweetheart's Night, and the other one is the first ever Disney Channel night. That makes sense. Yeah, well, they had so much luck with 80s <laughs> night and 90s night. <coughs> yeah, you just basically combine and, 80s and exactly. 90s night and give it a like a DuckTales Whoop. spin. <laughs> Um, so that's going to be taking place on March 5th yeah. and 7th. Tiana's Bayou Adventure attraction will open late 2024, and it is set a year after the events of Princess and the Frog. Then you're, like, it's a Mardi Gras celebration. In 2024, Star Tours, um, all, I think all of them, let's see, let me look at the list here. Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris will include new destinations, including some we've never seen before, and Ahsoka Tana will be added to the ride as well. Haunted Mansion closes January 22nd for the renovations. And at DCA, they're still looking at the um, e-ticket for Avengers Campus, but of course it's not going to be 2024, just more information will be coming. Yeah, they might actually uh, commit to something exactly next year. Maybe. But I'm saying the... Uh, Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So, yeah, that's kind of exciting stuff. Uh, some again, of it. not a single solitary mention of that whole Avatar thing. Not a one. Lots of stuff going on at Disney World, though. And Tokyo, and... Yeah. And, of course, the, uh... Um, the cruise ships, which we talked about before. But yeah. Any, um... Now, as far as plans go, Brandon... What are you looking forward to for 2024? Well, I I do not have a Disney trip in the No, in we the have books. a different trip. No. Well, uh, not uh, yet. <laughs> I am I am going to Orlando. Orlando. But I'm not staying there. No. I will I will wave at Disney World as I go on by cuz I'm not allowed to go there cuz you're not coming with me. <laughs> okay, I know we've said it on here before, but your re your response, you're you're going with a friend who lives near Disneyland. We go we've been to Disneyland a couple times with them now or not, too. Um and he said, "Well, we can go early and we'll go to Disney World." And he said, "No, we can't." 
Divorces are inconvenient and expensive. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be too happy. No, with but that. what are you gonna do instead? So, well, I am I am going on a cruise. That's the that is why I'm going there. Mm -hmm. uh, sailing from Port Canaveral, which mm -hmm. is right by Orlando, there. Uh, but I am going a couple days early, and I'm going to go to Universal. Are you excited? Orlando, yes. The Lost Coaster. I am excited that Universal Orlando has some real big boy rides, and I'm <laughs> I'm going to be a, put on my big boy pants and yeah. go on the big boy rides. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to go on your cruise, which you're going to like, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's on a real real big old big old boat. Mm-hmm. And uh, then you're going to come back and you'll be home for a few days and then I'm leaving to go to Disneyland with my mom and sister. And we were discussing, we have Dapper Day plans. Are you going to be Dapper? Yes. Oh, good. On that day. Oh, very Only good. Only that day, though. No. Oh. Um, well, we'll talk about all that, I'm sure, much more in the beginning part, the first quarter of 2024. Um, any other plans we're, we're looking to do a little more traveling but we don't have anything really locked down yet so yeah i don't know we'll probably go somewhere warm mm -hmm. um in, on, over your summer holidays mm -hmm. uh, like we typically do for like yeah. for our anniversary or something yeah. like that so keep our stuff eye like that yeah i'm well, pushing for another disney trip not quite as much revenge travel as as <laughs> 2023 we're gonna start saving our pennies mm -hmm. uh some other bigger plans on the horizon yeah, yeah so big, other big trips and such so yeah but uh, that'll be fun. Um, anything else that you're looking forward to in terms of podcast or anything like that for 2024? Not really. Not really. We got a lot of new listeners in 2023. We did, a awesome. apparently. Thank you. Um, they've been taking the holidays off. It's uh, dipped down, but that's to be expected. Us too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My energy level has been very low yes, this past yes, week. Yes, yes, yes. Very low. Yeah. But, um, you know, looking forward to keeping podcasting with you. Yep. Unless Krista gets tired of editing. Nah, nah. I uh, put it on and put on like a cooking show or something like that. It's fun. <laughs> you can uh, you can watch me play my new Switch game Ooh. while you're busy, so I actually can play the Switch. <laughs> what are you saying? No, uh, you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you Switch hog. <laughs> I'm a Switch hog. <laughs> well, yeah, so Happy New Year. Happy <laughs> New Year! <laughs> We're drier this year than we were last year this time. It's not raining on us. Oh, I thought I thought you were saying I was really drunk last year. Right? <laughs> so I was You're like, like no, I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't think I was. No. <laughs> oh yes, the rain. Yeah, yeah rain, um, like literally. It, well, it, it's it, it's been it's an El Nino uh, mm -hmm. year, and apparently, like uh, historically dry El Nino, which is Ooh. always dry. Yeah. Dry and mild, and uh, yeah, we haven't had much precipitation except for that one day where we got like two and a half feet of snow in in twelve hours. Like, yeah, it was but really other bad. than that, like we got all we of got our snow at once, and it's yeah, melted. Yeah, we only had a couple dumps of snow. We still have snow here. Not a lot of places do, but very very not little. Like what it usually looks like this time of year. So anyway, we were still drier than we were this time last year. <laughs> But I do have a growler of beer, so I'm going to change yeah, that. Yeah, change that very quickly <laughs> while we're editing and you're trying the new Switch game. Yeah. Okay, I have one more nerd thing. Can I just say, I, I was going through my own notes here, and I just saw, literally, in my own notes is the picture of the only time I've ever talked about a lounge fly on this, on this uh, podcast. Oh, yeah? Other than me getting, like, lounge flies and stuff like that. So, a few weeks ago, I was talking about the partner statue lounge fly. That was, that like was a, uh, more than a few okay, weeks ago. Okay, so like a ago. couple months ago. It was part of the Disney 100, and it was a park-exclusive lounge fly. I got it for Christmas. You did? Yeah, I did. No. Uh. My sister and my brother-in-law, now, her husband, were uh, in Walt Disney World, and they saw it, and they picked it up. And, um, yeah, so that was cool. I'm glad to have family and friends who travel in <laughs> to Disney as well. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. It, mm -hmm. it lights up, and... Glows in the dark mm -hmm. and pretty cool. I think I'm too nervous to bring it to the parks, though, in the spring. I don't want to wreck it. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about it, but I think I'll probably That's bring... more of a fancy bag, not a... I think that's an around here bag, not a full of... Day-to-day yeah. day park, like, 
Yeah. yeah. Squeeze in underneath a seatbelt or something, you know? Yeah. I don't know, I, but I really want to wear it in the parks, but I don't want to wreck it. So anyway, I will think about that when we get closer. Uh, next episode, Brandon, do you know what we're talking about? You said we might talk about what if. That's the plan. What if we, we talked about what, what if. if. But I don't know. I think we made that joke the last time. I think so, too. I think so, too. Uh, Probably more than once, actually. uh, Terrible, terrible, (laughs) terrible. Well, that is our show this week. And this year. Yeah. That is our show for 2023. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, 2023. Was 2023 a bad year? Uh, Some people thought it was. Yeah. It's been a lot of war and suffering, so. I I meant, like, for us. For for us. Other um, than uh, animals. Yeah, it's been a rough year for for animals <laughs> mm-hmm. and things like that. So I don't know. It, it, we did get lots of travel in though, yeah, so we've been high, lucky that lows. lucky that way. Yeah. Uh, some high, some low. Sometimes we get Andor. Some other times we get Secret Invasion. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sometimes uh, you get Ahsoka. Uh, Ahsoka's not a. Uh, no, I'm still on Secret oh, Invasion. Okay. <laughs> uh. Sometimes you get Loki. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> spaghettification. Sometimes you get spaghettified. Sometimes you get spaghettified. So that's our show this week and this year. Thank you, El Mule, who's responsible for the custom theme song you heard at the top of the show. You can find a link to his work at our website, disneya.wixsite.com slash podcast. That's also where you can find a link to our social media accounts as well as ways to email us. You can find Disney A episodes on all of your favorite podcast streaming platforms and on our YouTube channel, Adventures A. If you've rated or reviewed our podcast, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, please do. It helps others find us and is just awesome, especially if you do it on Apple Podcasts. You know what? That's a good New Year's resolution. I'm going to like and comment on Disney A Podcast. You are? I I don't think that's allowed. No, I don't think so either. I feel like other people can. Do you have a New Year's resolution? So here's the thing about New Year's resolutions. Um... Everyone, like, tries to, like, better themselves, and they're always, like, hard things where you yeah. change change yourself. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to eat better. All Save the, like, money, boring, yeah, yeah. boring stuff like that. That's really hard to stick to. You can pick some fun ones, too. You're allowed to use, make fun New Year's resolutions. Yeah. So what's your New Year's resolution? Um, well, I am going to swear off beer for until my cruise, but that that's not super fun. No. Um, but you're like, I'm switching from beer to, like, gin well i'm still well i'm still drinking yeah. it's just gonna be slightly less carby drinks yeah fair enough okay. whatever but we we talked about it we're gonna we're gonna uh mm-hmm. we finally excavated our pool table from all the christmas mail we had yeah, sitting on true. it and we haven't played it very much and we own a pool table and we should play more so that that was our new year's resolution that is such a fun new year's resolution play, play some play, some play pool. more pool yeah i love it uh and, and your, stuff like that yeah your my new year's resolution last year was to like not save stuff you know save good dishes save the nice candle like that kind of stuff oh that's that's an interesting one i have a big time troubles with that i I do i didn't do super well with it i did some like why am i saving the fancy candles sit in the cupboard burn burn the fancy candle yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I, th- that's a tough one for me. Yeah. Another one I think I'm gonna work on is is like playing a lot of these uh, backlogged video games. Oh, that I, that's a fun one. That I haven't. Uh, mm-hmm. I, oh, oh, I have I have so many so many discs and cartridges and my <laughs> Steam account yeah, is just like chock full of stuff with zero hours played. All on right, it. and I'm going to build one big big. Lego set. Oh, I'm not committing to that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I have many beautiful Lego sets that are still in the box, very sadly. Mm-hmm. No, you are doing <laughs> the video games. I'm going to do, like, it, it's a fun thing, like a fun backlog thing, right? We're both going to play more pool. You're going to play video games. I'm going to build a Lego set and probably read books. Yeah, that's fun. Use your New Year's resolutions for fun things. Or evil. Or for evil. But there's no there's no rule that literally, says they can't be for evil. Literally no rule. <laughs> um, it is an evil, though, to rate and review Disney A. Wow, podcast. that was a journey that we just went on. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me on that journey. You like how I circled the way back? <laughs> wow, okay. I think we should uh, <laughs> put a pin in this year. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not even coming back to it. You put a pin in your come back to it. We're just, bye. Yeah, just, this is the cat knocking the ear off the table. Just, just 
crumple it up. Uh, yeah. Bang. Uh, bang. So I'm Krista. I'm Brandon. And until the next adventure, TTFN, ta ta for now. Thanks for listening to Disney A. Eh? Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought? No. No. No, we just lost all our listeners. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah.